Hello, my love. Welcome to the lounge of the Single Women Society. I am honored that you have decided to join me today. So come on in. I want to invite you to order your special drink of choice and come and sit down next to me. Today, I want to tell you a story of a woman. We're just going to call her Shelly. So go and have a seat and kind of sink down and lend me your ears. I want to tell you about Shelly because I'm sure that you'll be able to see a lot of yourself in her story. So Shelly, like you, is a single, driven, beautiful woman. In fact, she loves her independent life. She has worked really hard to get where she's at today. In fact, so many different people will ask her, why is a woman like you still single? And her comeback usually is by choice because I want to be single. But Shelly, although loving her life, loving her independence, taking pride in who she is and where she's, where she has landed. She feels that there is something missing. And in fact, she's been questioning a lot of who she is because she's had people tell her that she's too independent or too picky or that she should just settle or that she's too intimidating. And she wonders, well, if I'm too intimidating, then is that what prevents me from finding love? Because although she loves her independence, she does yearn for companionship. She wants to find and attract love but she gave up on it years ago because she got frustrated because she thought to herself, well, maybe I do have to change these things. Maybe I should dim my light. That's what I say to you ladies. You know, when you decide to not be yourselves, she's like, maybe I should dim my light or maybe I just need to settle. Maybe I am being too picky. And Dating became something to her where it's a full-time job. And when you are a single driven woman who has a lot to do in her life, the last thing you want to worry about is dating as if it's a job. And so Shelly just gave up, but she knows that she wants to find love, but she's tired. And not only that, but she feels that there's no one else around her that can relate. Maybe all of her friends are married. Maybe she's the only type of single woman like her who's going through these struggles. And so she doesn't have someone to talk to. And Shelly feels like she truly has tried everything and ultimately has thrown her hands up in the air and just said, well, maybe love isn't for me. Maybe all of the good ones are taken because she doesn't want to settle. Shelly refuses to settle and I don't blame her. <laughs> I don't want her to settle either because settling only is going to prolong finding the love that you deserve. And I know that Shelly is lonely and yet she wants to have love, but yet knows that what she's done in the past hasn't worked and doesn't know what else to do. And so she just doesn't date anymore. She just doesn't. In fact, it's gotten to a point maybe where she's just scared to do it because she's like, oh my gosh, and it's a job and I don't want to go, I don't want to go through that all, all over again. I've got enough on my plate with everything that I'm doing. I'm living my life the best that I, you know, the, way, the way that I really want to live it, but I do want to find love. And Shelly, her story, 
sits in my heart because I was like Shelly. This is what has brought me to here behind this microphone in front of you is my own journey that has led me to this point. And I, I was that single driven woman. I created the life that I wanted. It took me a long time to get there, but I had the same fear that Shelly has, which is the fear of being alone. When you are picky, and I remember, this was after I started my own business, so I was a single mom, I was living my life, I had started my storefront business, it was succeeding. I had everything in my life that I wanted, but one thing, and that was true love. I loved myself and I was taking care of myself and I was taking care of my kids, but I was missing true love. And it wasn't until I had a conversation actually with my mother. My mother was convinced that I was too picky, <laughs> that I needed to settle. And I thought to myself, I know I'm not too picky. I know the expectations that I have, but what I really, that conversation prompted something inside of me to where I said, okay, what am I picky about? What is it that I really want in a partner? What is it that I'm seeking? What is on my list? And how am I dating? Because I'd given up dating for a long time and I was petrified to put myself out there. But I loved my life and I knew that I was ready to find love, but I knew that my old type of way of thinking about it didn't work. <laughs> it did not work. And so I changed my attitude towards love. I changed my perception about love. And not only that, but my storefront business. So I, I ran this adult women's dance studio. And this was something that I was coaching my students on. Not only was I teaching them dance, but I was coaching them on love. Because when women go through life changes, new babies, divorces, moving into a new town, it prompts women to try something new, to step outside of the box. And so I had a lot of women coming into the studio who were starting to date or who were ready to date because they had this newfound confidence and they knew who they were and they knew that they were ready. And I started teaching these new, this new way of thinking about love to them as I was teaching it to myself. And I was petrified that I was going to be alone forever. I remember going and spending holidays and being the single person and people still asking me, why was I still single? So Shelly's story sits in my heart because I, I know that feeling. I have been there. So in doing this love work with these women that were walking through the doors, it prompted me to do the work for myself and ultimately finding my partner, which here we are seven years later. And I saw the magic of changing that perspective on love and what you are deserving of and what is it that you really want in your own life as far as having a partner to the point where I wanted to remove women from their their normal cozy boxes and take them on these international retreats to really jolt them, to really get them to look at things differently. Taking women to Paris and London and Dublin and Turks and Caicos. So when you have that fear of being alone forever 
or you have that fear of having that state of vulnerability of putting yourself out, out there again and not wanting dating to become a full-time job, what do you do? What's the solution? And with Shelly's story and my own, it has brought me to what I have for you for this episode today. So I have something very special that I want to share with you for the first time. I haven't shared this with anyone else yet. So you're the first to know. I have this room that I have reserved for you within the single women's society. And this room is called the peacock room. And the peacock room is my private room where I get to offer you a group mentor mentorship program to where I can help you find love faster because I know that life has brought you to this point where you know that you're ready for this. You've done all that work. You love your life. You know exactly where you're at, but you know that you deserve love and you want to attract love. And the peacock room is that special, unique room with that beautiful gold table and that seat where it says reserved. It's waiting for you to come and sit down. Because after years of working with so many women and doing this in my own life, I want to help you. I've been there. I want to help you find love faster. In order to find love, women think that they have to change their bodies or they have to change their careers or they have to move out of state. I remember I went on a business trip once to Chicago and I met, I remember thinking to myself, maybe, maybe I just need to move to find love. Maybe that's the solution. Maybe it's the pool of people <laughs> that are here. No, none of that has to change. You as a woman don't need to change, but what needs to change is your attitude and your approach to love. And the peacock room is designed to help you do that because the more you're able to change that approach, the more you're going to pull love in and not push it away by people telling you that you're too intimidating or you're too independent, but pulling it in and saying, okay, I'm going to change my perspective to this. I'm going to change my approach and I'm going to pull love into me. Now, here's what the Peacock Room has to offer. So I have, I have decided that the Peacock Room, so this is a beta group program, right? So this is brand new. So I'm looking for women to start this journey with me. So here's the way I see it. So every month I will present a new topic. So we meet twice a month in two different calls. One call I present a topic to the women of the Peacock Room, which I call Cocktail Round Table. So we have a cocktail and I present a topic along with homework. Yes, I know sometimes you don't want homework, but maybe this is the type of homework that you'll look forward to having every month. And the type of topics that we cover are the importance of checklists when you go into dating or lack thereof. Sometimes checklists aren't a good idea. And we'll talk about all of that. I'm looking at my notes. We, this is how, like, I, <laughs> uh, this has been very well thought out. And I just want to make sure and let you know all of the amazingness that comes with the Peacock Room. So we're going to, we can talk, we're going to talk about topics about the importance of checklists or lack thereof, how to date with intent how to make connections on that first date, 
how to rewrite your dating agendas, because I know we all have them. You have them. What is it in a, in a mate or in a partner that you really want? And how do you start dating after a long break? So that's one call a month. We talk about that topic. I present it to you and I give you homework and we break into groups of your peers where you get to discuss these topics. Because one of the things that the Peacock Room has to offer you is that you're not alone in this when you have peers and like-minded women who have done the work, who are ready to attract true love, to get their perspective, because remember what I've said about the single women society, about how we tell you what you need to hear, not what you want. The Peacock Room is no exception, is no exception. So one call every month, you get a topic along with a homework assignment. The next call is what I call the power circle. So this is where you get high impact mentorship directly from me. So you'll be given your homework assignment. And then the following call, you can ask me questions about that homework assignment. You can ask me questions about dating, about what you're going through. This is the moment where I get to put my heart onto your dating and love life. These two calls of month, a month will, the goal is to get you to find love faster. The Peacock Room is a brand new program because I believe that the single women society needs to bring single women together. And there's no better way of doing that than launching this group mentorship program as me, as your love mentor, to guide you, to get you to find love faster. Now, the guarantee is, is that if you join in the first 30 days and you don't like it, you can leave and I'll give you a refund. I don't, I want you there and I want you to be able to get the value that you deserve and that you want. And if you don't get it, yes, 30 day money back guarantee. Okay, here's what, I, here's what I'm looking for. Are you ready? So, and I think it's important to mention too, before I go into that, I think it's important to mention too, that with the Peacock Room, not only do you get two calls a month and they're 75 minutes each, but you get your own module, all the calls are recorded, along with the, any PDF that's provided, that's all given to you as a part of being a, being a part of the Peacock Room. Okay. Now here's, here's the criteria. It is by application. The beta group is only open until the 12th. I'm only giving you a couple of days. So this episode is released on Thursday. I believe the eighth you have until the 12th to apply to be a part of the beta group and the beta group gets the pricing half off. Since this group coaching program is brand new, I want to give it to the beta group for half off. So here's a criteria. You have to apply. You have to be single. You have to apply before the 12th, absolutely no exceptions. And you get, you get this program half off. All I ask of you is for two nights a week, or excuse me, two nights a month, two nights a month with an open mind and an open heart. Now, if you're listening to this and you're like, okay, I do love my life and I am searching for true love, but you don't, sometimes women want to have that personal one-on-one attention. That is also available. So if you're listening to this and you're like, oh, the peacock room, maybe this isn't for me but maybe you are ready to take, take it to the next step to where you, you want to find true love faster and you want my undivided attention. That is where the Panther room comes into play. The Panther room is for one-on-one mentorship. And if you are interested in that, you can go to the website. Okay. You can find all of this information on the website. So woman, so Shelly, 
Shelly needs to sign up for the Peacock Room. In fact, I'm going to be contacting Shelly when I'm done with this and see if she's interested in joining. The Peacock Room has been designed. I've been listening and it has been designed for you. And I'm only opening it up for just a few days because I want to get this started and I'm super excited about this. So if you are listening to this and you want to join the Peacock Room of the Single Women Society and want to sit at the golden desk with the golden chair with your name right across the front, please just, if, if this, if you're listening to this and you're like, okay, this sounds really good. This sounds what I've been looking for. Please do not hesitate. Okay. So here's where you need to go. You need to go to singlewomenssociety.com. Now it's women's with an E N S two S's in a row society.com up at the top. It says private room because it is a private room. Click on that. And it, there are buttons everywhere. It says apply here. There's right at the very, very top. It says apply here, make sure and apply. You fill out all of your information and that's it. It's only open for a few days. And the way that enrollment's going to happen with the Peacock Room is it only is going to be open just a few times a year. So there's no better way if you haven't been dating for a long time because of all the obvious reasons, because of COVID, or maybe you just haven't been able to, to take that leap and to put yourself out there, the Peacock Room is designed for you. I want to help you find love. I have been in your shoes. I want to be your mentor. So make sure and go to singlewomensociety.com up at the top, click on private room. And if you're listening to this and you're like, nope, I'm going to skip that, <laughs> but you just want my undivided attention, sweet woman, I got you. <laughs> I would be honored to be your love mentor. So please make sure you can go up at the top, same website, singlewomensociety.com. At the top says one-on-one -on -one mentorship and click there and get all of the information. You schedule your free 20 minute call with me. We don't, I don't, you can't purchase that from the website. You have to actually come and talk to me first. So set up your free call. Okay. There's my breath. <laughs> There's my breath. I'm so excited that you decided to join me today and to sit down next to me. I just want to remind you that the Single Women Society is here for you. So if you want to be a part of our newsletter, please make sure and go to our website, singlewomensociety.com and go to start here. There's a little button at the top that says start here, click on that and join our newsletter. It's com everything is, com that is completely for free. The newsletter is completely for free. If you are interested in being a part of the beta group, please make sure and go to the website and click it, click up at the top says private room. And then if you're interested in the Panther room, my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, you can also click on the button that says one-on-one -on -one mentorship. All right. Thank you, my love. Thank you for having this time with me today. I'm honored. Um, it means so much to me to have you here. And if you're watching on YouTube, what do you think? We're switching things around every, uh, every episode. We're going to kind of keep moving things around. So if you're watching on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe, like, and click the bell. So when every time we upload a new episode, that you are the first to know. And if you are listening on iTunes, I would love it if you would rate and review and make sure and, uh, subscribe. I love to have your ratings and it means so much to me because that means that other women can find the society and get all of these wonderful nuggets that we deliver to you. And are you on Facebook or Instagram? I hope so. You can either follow single women's society over on Instagram, or you can come follow me. I'm having a lot of fun with reels by the way. Oh, by the way, if you've made it this far, let me share this information with you. I've had a reel that go that has gone viral. In fact, right before this recording, 90,000 views on one of my reels, which is unreal. Did you see what I did there? So please make sure I'm having so much fun over there on Instagram. So please make sure and come follow me on Instagram, Kat Cantrell. And if you've been listening to this episode, I would love it if you would share. You can take a screenshot and share it in your stories and I'll make sure and share it in mine. 
<sighs> and thank you again for being a part of the Single Women's Society, for joining me here in the lounge. And remember, my love, true love is waiting for you. And I will see you in the Peacock Room. I'll see you next time.